we are going to see periodic and non periodic signals these signals are discrete time signals it could also be continuous time signals but we are going to specifically look at discrete time non uh, periodic and non periodic si signals non periodic can also be called as a periodic all right uh, let's see what a periodic signal looks like uh, just for understanding i am going to give an example of a continuous signal rather than a discrete uh, signal okay so consider a wave this is a signal okay now this signal is completed in time period t the same amount of time period is required for the signal to repeat the same amount of time period is required for the signal to repeat itself this is called as a periodic signal a signal x of n is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition x of n is equal to x of n plus capital n okay for all integers n okay now what is this capital n capital n is also called as the fundamental period okay and since we are looking at discrete time capital n is called as a fundamental period in discrete time please note that the example that i have given here is for continuous uh, signal okay that's why uh, we denote continuous signals with t and we denote discrete signals with n okay that's why whatever numericals we solve it is always in terms of x of n and not in terms of x of t okay so please keep that in mind okay and one more thing about fundamental period is uh, n has to be a positive integer n has to be a positive integer you will get uh, more clarity on this particular concept once we see the numericals okay now certain things that you have to remember about uh, periodic signals are when you are solving the numericals what you will get from the question is omega okay omega is nothing but of but the fundamental angular frequency it's the fundamental angular frequency also called as the discrete angular frequency all right and uh, your frequency f i'm sorry the omega is also written as 2 pi f where f is my frequency all right now uh, always when the signal is periodic we need to find the fundamental period which is nothing but n okay in order to find that we have to remember a ratio uh, the ratio is f is equal to k upon capital n where capital n is my fundamental period okay and uh, like mentioned before capital n is a positive integer and k is some constant okay so this is the ratio that i have to remember also in numericals the question is usually to determine whether the signal x of n is periodic or aperiodic okay so in the question the final step of assessment whether a signal is periodic or aperiodic is decided by this particular ratio if this ratio is rational okay then it's a periodic signal if this ratio is irrational then it's not a periodic signal okay rational meaning any ratio with a any number of ratio with two integers right so i supposing i have minus 1 upon 7 or 22 upon 3 any any ratio of integers 
सेवन लेवन नाइन्टी नाइन अपॉन लेवन एनी थिंग इज अ रैशनल नंबर वेर इज एन इ रैशनल नंबर वुड बी समथिंग लाइक वन बाई रूट टू और द वैल्यू ऑफ ई और द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव प्रॉबली और इफ आई हैव वन बाई टू पाए और वन बाई पाए देन दैट्स अ रैशनल दैट्स एन इ रैशनल नंबर दैट्स अ कंटिन्यूस नेवर एंडिंग सीक्वेंस ऑफ और सीरीज ऑफ नंबर्स ओके सो दैट्स एन इैशनल नंबर सो देन माई सिग्नल इज नॉट पीरियोडिक ओके सो दिस रेशियो हैज टू बी कैप्ट इन माइंड ओके इफ दिस रेशियो इज रैशनल देन आई गेट अ पीरियोडिक सिग्नल इफ इट्स एन इ रैशनल रेशियो देन इट्स एन ए पीरियोडिक सिग्नल ओके now let's understand this better uh, before we go into the numeral uh, numerical i just want to say that your the most important thing in a fundamental uh, in a periodic signal is the fundamental period okay and the fundamental period is the smallest value of n for which the equation x of n is equal to n plus capital n uh, sorry x of n plus capital n is true okay and one more thing that you have to uh, remember is if a signal is periodic it's a power signal periodic signals are power signals okay now uh, for better understanding le let's look at couple of numericals first numerical the first numerical that we are going to see is x of n is equal to sin pi by 4 n okay now this equation is equivalent to sin omega n that's how i get my value of omega okay so omega solution omega is equal to pi by 4 but i also know that omega is equal to 2 pi f so my 2 pi f is equal to pi by 4 so then tell me what is the value of f pi and pi will get cancelled out over here i'll get the value of f as 1 by 8 okay now i also know that f is equal to k by capital n right okay so this ratio is very important okay and f is equal to k by capital n is equal to 1 by 8 that means it's a rational ratio it's a rational number therefore x of n is a periodic signal is periodic now once the signal is found out to be periodic i will have to find out the fundamental period fundamental period capital n okay now uh, as this ratio states k upon n is equal to 1 upon 8 okay now let's just cross multiply and see what we get okay now i uh, we know that n has to be a n is a positive integer okay n is a positive integer so what is the minimum value of k for which n is a positive integer or what is the value not minimum per se but what is the value for k for which n is the n is a positive integer so if i have my k is equal to 1 that means my n is equal to 8 8 is nothing but a positive integer so my fundamental period is going to be 8 okay please don't confuse yourselves we are just cross multiplying okay and then we are saying that since k is any positive constant and my condition on n is that it has to be a positive integer okay so i consider k as a value which will give me give my n uh, which will make my n a positive integer okay so in this case my k was uh, k is equal to 1 so my n is equal to 8 okay so this is the first numerical that we have solved for a uh, periodic or a periodic signal and in this case x of n is a periodic signal okay let's look at one more numerical we have x of n is equal to sin square pi by 4 n okay now this is not the same as sin omega n 
uh, sine square omega n. It's not. Okay, there is a formula which has to be applied to this. I'm writing the formula right here. It's sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. Okay, so this formula has to be substituted in the above equation. So, my I'll get my x of n as 1 minus cos pi by 2 n the whole upon 2 which is nothing but 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos omega n equivalent to that. Therefore, my omega is equal to pi by 2. Okay, but my omega is also equal to 2 pi f. So, pi by 2 is equal to 2 pi f. This is how I get my the value of my f. Okay. So, in this case f is equal to 1 by 4 which is also k by n. So, using the previous funda that we used uh, for in the previous numerical, the value of the fundamental uh, since this ratio is rational, rational number x of n is a periodic signal. Okay, n is fundamental period. Capital N is going to be k by n was what? 1 by 4. So, that is why n is equal to 4. Okay, that is my fundamental period. This is the second numerical that we have done on periodic and aperiodic signals. Let us look at one more numerical now. Okay. X of n is equal to sin 3. Oh, sorry. X of n is equal to sin 3 n. Okay. Now, uh, this is equivalent to sin omega n. So, the value of omega is 3. But we also know that omega is equal to 2 pi f. So, 3 is equal to 2 pi f. So, my value of f is going to be 3 upon 2 pi. Now, this looks different from the previous two numericals that we did. Okay? We also know that f is equal to k by n and this has to be a rational number. If it is not a rational number, then the signal is not periodic. right? Okay? So, this is 3 by 2 pi and according to the examples of irrational numbers, anything with, the with pi in the denominator is a irrational number. Okay, so this is an irrational number. Therefore, x of n is not a periodic signal. Since it is not a periodic signal, we cannot find the fundamental period. Okay, so this is where the, your numerical ends. Now, when you look at the question also, you will understand that it is not a periodic signal because there is no pi in the question. Okay. And if there is no pi in the question, that means the pi formula, which is omega is equal to 2 pi f uh, and the pi that we get from the question, the, those two pi's are not going to get cancelled out. That means your fundamental, uh, the ratio, the frequency ratio that you are calculating will have the term pi in it, which will in turn lead to a irrational number. Okay. So, just by looking at the question, since there is no pi term in my question, I know that it is not a periodic signal. Alright, so this is just a small hint that you will uh, understand just by looking at the question whether the signal is periodic or aperiodic. Okay, uh, yet another numerical that we are going to see now. Uh, so, we did three different types of numerical. This is the fourth type of numerical that we are doing. X of n is equal to sin 2 2 pi by 3 n plus cos pi by 2 n. This is equivalent to sin omega n plus cos omega n. Okay? Now, let us see the solution. So, I have two angular frequencies over here. I have omega 1 which is nothing but 2 pi by 3 and I have omega 2 which is nothing but pi by 2. Okay? So, omega 1 is equal to 2 pi f 1, omega 2 is equal to 2 pi f 2. Okay? My uh, f 1, so this is 2 pi by 3 is equal to 2 pi f 1 and pi by 2 is equal to 2 pi f 2. 
okay so 2 pi and 2 pi will go from here pi and pi will go from here f1 is going to be 1 by 3 okay so which is k upon n1 and f2 is going to be 1 by 4 which is k upon n2 okay now what we do is we find the ratio n1 upon n2 okay you find the ratio now this is different because we have two frequencies over here two angular frequencies leading to two frequencies leading to two fundamental periods so in order to find the final fundamental period n we need to take the ratio of n1 and n2 okay to take the ratio of n1 and n2 uh, so i have k upon n1 is equal to 1 by 3 okay so my n1 is equal to 3k and my n2 is equal to 4k and my n1 upon n2 is equal to 3k by 4k the reason i'm not writing k1 and k2 because k1 and k2 is a constant which i have to get rid of anyways okay because i want to find out the fundamental period okay so this k will get cancelled out my ratio 3 by 4 uh, my ratio is 3 by 4 so n1 by n2 ratio is 3 by 4 now if since this is a rational ratio my signal is signal x of n is periodic okay now how do i find the final fundamental period since the signal is periodic of course i will have to find the fundamental period n is equal to lcm i'll have to take the lcm of n1 and n2 okay which is equal to lcm of 3 comma 4 lcm of 3 comma 4 is nothing but 12 so my fundamental period is going to be 12 okay so this is where my numerical ends this is my numer this is the fourth type of numericals that uh, numerical that we are seeing in periodic and aperiodic signals so this was all about discrete time signals uh, which is uh, periodic and aperiodic signals